What's going on guys? Today I'll bring you a Gary's Mod video for all those server owners out there. What I'm going to be showing you is how to add FastDL to your server. Now this is not the Steam Workshop download, this is the actual FastDL that no one can be bothered and that everybody just uses the Steam Workshop version but this is actually how to use FastDL and set it up properly. This, there are a few steps to it but once you get the hang of it, it should be easy. It's it can be it can be time consuming at times, depending on what script you're trying to add. But what I've added to my server is these custom handcuffs from Coda Hire, and that is these. Now what that does is it replaces the arrest baton. You can arrest people from behind, and it takes about three seconds. But very straightforward. Alright, let's get started. So first, what you're gonna need access to is some kind of FTP. If you're hosting, if you're hosting, if your server is hosting of a uh, server hosting game server hosting company. So as you can see in the background, I've opened F I've got FTP open for my server. So once you've accessed your server files, it should be the same for SRCDS. Like if you're hosting it from your own network, Gary's mod. And then you should be in on this screen. Now, okay, for example, oh, uh, where, where is it? Hank, the handcuffs. I, I bought this, and you you should see um, some materials and models or whatever it should be called. If it's just got Lua in the add-on, then you do not need to add them to FastDL. FastDL will accept materials, models, sounds, and resources. Alright, so you gotta add this to your server add-ons folder. So as you can see, my add-ons folder, it's I've got handcuffs right here. Okay, once you've done that, uh, once you've done that, then you're gonna go to just go to Gary's mod, server directory, and Gary's mod. So whatever folder you got, materials or models, just so I got materials and models. You drag them onto there and click yes to overwrite. Now that I've already done that, so the contents of this, the handcuffs, materials, models, spy handcuffs, is these three files. So as you can see, materials, models, spy handcuffs and they're right there so they're right there okay and for the models models weapons spy and there's a bunch of that so let's have a look at that models weapons spy and all of these are the handcuff stuff and some other another add-on that I've added to fast deal now you you understand you should understand this so what you do, you add it handcuffs to the add-ons folder uh, as per normal. But then you, after you do that, you also add the materials and models separately to the actual materials and models folder. You overwrite them. All right. So once that's done, there's a very important step. You need to go into Gary's with Lua, Auto Run, Server, and you're gonna need to make a Lua file called Resources.Lua. Now once you've made that. You're gonna open it up, <coughs> and you're gonna to need to do something similar to this. The first line, resource dot add file, exactly like that. All the capital capital letters. So you want to just have this, and so first of all, for all right, for this one, this is something else that I've added to FastDL. Resource, yeah, resource add file materials down our print fan part dot one dot png. So we'll have a look. So materials, Let's open up materials, right, Dan, our print, and then it'll be fan part one dot png. And there's fan part two right there. So you should understand the concept of what to do now, but that is not all. So you're gonna have to do that for every single file that you have in the add-on. So all the handcuffs are here. See, as uh, as you can see, it's very time-consuming. And make sure you don't stuff it up, or else this will not work correctly, and you'll just cause errors on your server. Uh, 
So once after you've done that, you want to save that and upload it back to the server if you're using FTP. And my uh, my server's using TC admin. Um, TC admin two for to host my server. If you're using that as well, well then it'll be very easy. So what you want to do after you've done all that, you want to just refresh the page if you've already got it opened, and you want to do a fast download synchronization. So I'm, I'm gonna uh, so this might take a few minutes, so just let that run through, and it should complete in a few minutes, depending on uh, how many add-ons and how big they are. All right, the fast download synchronization has completed. Now, as you can see, nothing was added to nothing new was added because I haven't added any new add-ons. But you don't, you shouldn't need to do this. Only if you're using TC Admin, you'll need to do the fast download sync. Uh, once you've done all the previous steps, and then after that, simply restart your server. So you just restart it. And yeah, it's just restarting. And when you rejoin, when you join the server, it should say that it's downloading the materials, models, or whatever. And then when you're in the game, everything should be all the custom files should be downloaded and working correctly. If the, if you still see errors, try restarting your Gary's mod, or and or try restarting your server again. And that should fix it. Okay, if you've got any questions, just uh, chuck a comment down below and I'll be happy to help you. Yeah.